Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report sponsored by Delta.Exchange and Tradex.Live. What a volatile market today. As I have been saying, this Mauritius tax treaty issue seems to be a big problem. Now, the Nifty has already fallen 700-800 points. And today, for the fourth straight day, Nifty has fallen. Already Nifty has fallen 650 point in last three trading session and today 150. So total 800 points in just a matter of four days. So sometimes, you know, this material news comes, you know, markets will be reacting. Usually uh, in three days, most of the things will be factored in. Fourth day onwards, the market will stabilize. But today, you know, that stabilization has not come. And markets were just too volatile. Now, the problem is that even the government cannot act now because, you know, there is no government. Right now, it's the election commission, which is the in charge of the country. So, only when the elections are over, after June 4, a new government only can take a call. So, until then, you know, so like the timing of this uh, tax treaty issue uh, is definitely wrong. They could have done it, you know, at least six months before or six months after very close to the election, uh, it's going to be a big problem. Now, Nifty has fallen suddenly 200 points just in a matter of one or two minutes. Everybody was wondering what is happening. Nobody knows what was the reason. And somebody asked me, sir, uh, is there any problem in Israel and Iran? Uh, is there any war Israel launching? Then I said, you know, I, I don't think there was anything like that because, you know, immediately I checked the global markets. The global markets trading in green only. Uh, European markets in green, US futures are in green. Forget about all these markets. Even the Israel market was trading in green. Israel market was trading almost 1% higher. So definitely that cannot be the reason. Then somebody called me and said, sir, is there any possibility of a fat finger trade? You know, like some error trade, fat finger trade means some error trade. Like sometimes, you know, instead of putting one share, they put one lakh share or something like that. Or like, no, no, one zero added. Like somebody say one lakh, this may, may put one crore, you know, just two, two extra cyber. You no, know, when they type very fast, this kind of things can happen, which is called fat finger trade. In fact, in 2012, uh, I think in the month of October, there was a fat finger trade. You know, somebody placed a huge sell order and can you imagine Nifty falling 15% in just in a matter of few minutes, right? So even the lower circuit could not get triggered. It fell so fast. But however, uh, people knew that it was a fat finger trade. You know why? Because the markets were falling only in the cash market. It was not falling in the futures and options market, right? Futures are trading at 1,000 point premium, right? So, but today, that is not the case. When the markets fell, futures also fell, like option premium shot up like anything, like 5 rupee option going to 250 rupees, you know? Uh, like for a moment, no, nobody could understand. So then I said, no, no, it is not Israel-Iran war or it is not fat finger trade. So this must be some kind of a selling, a genuine selling. Now, one of my friends asked me, he said, can you explain what could be the possible, okay? One possibility is that, you know, some FPAs who are not happy with this Mauritius tax, Mauritius tax treaty issue, they just keep on selling. That's one possibility. Or if you are looking for conspiracy theory, I gave him this analogy. In a forest, there are some small animals, there are some medium-sized animals, there are some big-sized animals. So these medium sized animals eat the small size animals and the big size animals eat the medium size animals. So here option buyers are small size animals, option sellers with uh, a few crore capital, they are the medium size animals and there are people who are interested in trapping these option sellers with a 500 crore, 1000 crore capital, they are the big animals. What happens in a normal market, you know, option buyers buy because of time decay, you know, these option sellers eat those animals, small animals. But what happens sometimes, like maybe like today, 
I'm not saying this has happened, but there's a possibility that this could have happened. Some big fish, you know, like capital, 500 crore, 1000 crore, they are seeing, okay, now market has already fallen for three days. People don't expect market to fall more. Uh, entire global markets are positive. Put option prices are available at a very, very cheap price. So what these people could have done, they could have bought huge amount of put options. And then they could have sold a huge amount of call options. And then suddenly, in just one single order, they just go and sell in the cash market, especially the large index heavyweights. So what happens? Market crashes. When the market crashes, the 5 rupee put option that uh, they bought goes to 200, 250 rupees. They book the profits. And sometimes the markets fall suddenly, it may reverse. You know, they may lose some money in cash market, but the money that they are making in these options is will compensate much more than that. But in most cases, the cash market also, they make profit. Yes, once they, you know, uh, in stock market, I used to tell, you know, uh, markets will follow uh, Newton's first law. You know, once you reverse the trend with a big bang, you know, when it starts falling, it will continue to fall. So at the end of the day, you can square up at the lower rate. So uh, I'm not saying this has happened, but the, there is a high probability that this could have happened today, right? So a lot of intraday option sellers, you know, they lost huge amount of money. Luckily, those who put the stop loss, they escaped with the stop loss, right? So I think today's story was very, very big, you know? So, you know, uh, people are waiting for Infosys results, right? And, uh, you know, um, things are not looking very good. And as I've been telling you, for the last four trading sessions, I've been telling you, you know, it is time to be careful, time to be careful. But until yesterday, the markets were not short. Okay. But today, decisively, Nifty has become short. But I do not know uh, whether one can dare to take the short position. Okay. Because I told you, uh, Nifty spot uh, 22,147. When that is broken, so Nifty is short. And you know, when that broken, you know, so you have seen that, you know, where there was a big slide of about 150 points. So, because in the last half an hour, you know, domestic institutions would have stepped in. Okay. So, there was some recovery. So, because of that, you know, uh, weighted average close is showing above 22,000. But whereas the actual close was very, very pathetic below 22,000. So let us hope if everything goes well, at least market, you know, try to take support from here. At least the 22,000 is not broken on the downside. So at least let the market trade between 22,000 and 22,500. But a lot will depend on uh, Infosys results, uh, uh, Reliance results and HDFC bank results. So I need to go out. I have no time to check the Infosys results also. So that's why I'm recording this earlier. So rest of the things we'll discuss tomorrow morning. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.